Son, go get your bride. <laughs>
verses 1 to 6, God's design for a godly woman. And in chapter 7, he says, he turns to the husbands and says, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, being heirs together of the grace of life. It's the whipped cream with the cherry on the top. It's some of the very best that God has to offer us here. And I'm grateful that these two choose to partake in that. I'm thankful for that. Uh, we looked at, uh, one of the things we looked at was Proverbs chapter 30, in verses 18 and 19. It says, there are three things that are too wonderful for me, yea, four that I know not. And the first one is the way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon the rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maiden. And eagles have nine times the eyesight that we do, and they're up there at 5,000 feet. They can see this little mouse, and they tuck, and they come down at over 200 miles an hour, and stop and get that critter, whatever they're after. It's just magnificent to watch them. Uh, the way of a serpent upon the rock, and in the Badlands here in, in this country, we have temps get up to 125 degrees, and radiation heat on rock gets even hotter than that, and these serpents crawl out there sun themselves. The way of a ship in the midst of the sea back in Solomon's time, they didn't have all the navigation devices that we have. And they were able to, little tiny ships, get out there and somehow navigate back, and it was miraculous. The way of a man with a maid speaks of an unbetrothed woman. The Old Testament word is betrothal. The New Testament word is espousal. And it's an unbetrothed woman, and the way that a man would treat her, I'm sure you've heard of the word chivalry, where a man would take his coat down and put it over a puddle so a woman could walk over it. And uh, just the way that before marriage we treat our, our ladies. And that should last. It doesn't have to change. I know that whenever 50 years ago I was dating my wife, she lived about 45 minutes from me, and I would go over there on Saturday mornings, spend the whole day, her parents were there, spend the whole day with her, and get home about 10 o'clock at night, and turn around and drive right back there. I couldn't get enough of her. And that can last. You can nurture that. I've, uh, in a past lifetime, I, I used to fly airplanes, and there's a firewall on an airplane. If an engine catches fire, it gives you a little bit of time to get back down on the ground. I recommend taking care of the engine so you don't have a fire. I think that's just prudent. And in marriage, a lot of people use the commitment as the firewall. I made this commitment. I don't think you have to go there. I think you just nurture it and care for and enjoy and have fun with each other. You guys have already demonstrated that you do that, and uh, I know you're going to continue and be a good example for us. I appreciate that. I'm excited for you guys. I'm, I'm really excited to watch them grow as they carve out a life and grow together, and I'm honored and thankful to have a, a small part in their lives. It's a, it's a privilege, and I mean that with my whole heart. Finally, marriage is a, is a picture of salvation. When a man comes to a woman and he says, I want you, I choose you for the rest of my life. I want to spend my life with you. And she says, I want you. God seals that. And he makes two one. And in Malachi chapter 2, he says, I, I hate putting away. It was, it was never intended to be that way. And our Lord, in the Revelation 13, he says, the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. And again, he's the bridegroom of his church. He committed with his life. And when I come into him and I say, all right, I, I want you, I pick you, I choose you, he seals that. In Hebrews 13, 5, he says, I'll, I'll never leave you or forsake you. So my prayer for James and Julie is that every brushstroke of these pictures that God has given us would be a portrait of their marriage, applied with care and concern for the other. And as a result, their marriage is going to be a, a great and a tremendous example of the life that Christ not only demonstrates, but daily, moment by moment, gives to his bride and her faithfulness to him. So that wasn't even 15 minutes, eh? Good job. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so now realizing the seriousness of the vows that you are about to take, they are not going to be saying these words as rote. They're going to be carefully considering them, making a covenant with our Lord. He's involved in this. And the picture is that he's at the top and the closer they get to him, the closer they get to each other. <clears throat> so uh, realizing the seriousness of the, the vows you're about to take, if you intend to 
to accept one another until death does you part. And make that evident by turning toward one another and holding hands, looking in one, one another's eyes. As, and as I said, in, right into the soul. Right into her soul. <laughs> there it is. She's in there. Yep. Inside and out. <laughs> so James, please repeat after me. I, James. I, James. With God's help. With God's help. And in covenant with him. And in covenant with him. To promise to love. To promise to love. And serve Julianne. And serve Julianne. As her husband. As her husband. As Christ loves his church. As Christ loves his church. And here's the question to which you will say I do. As long as you both shall live. As long as us both shall live, I do. I do. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right, Julianne. I, Julianne. With God's help. With God's help. And in covenant with him. And in covenant with him. Do promise to love. Do promise to love. Serve and respect James. Serve and respect James. As his wife. As his wife. As the church should love Christ. As the church should love Christ. And here's the question. As long as you both shall live. I do. Praise the Lord. What what symbol do you have of your covenant, James? James, as you place this ring on Julianne's finger, please repeat after me. I, James, I, James take thee, Julianne, take thee, Julianne, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And with this ring, I thee wed. And with this ring, I thee wed. Amen. That's awesome. <laughs> just, just a, <laughs> just with that wing, you ask a lab at you. Which is a little sidebar. That word uh, wed comes from an Anglo-Saxon word, widian, that means covenant. So what uh, what symbol do you have of your covenant, Julian? Ooh, that's a beauty. Julianne, as you place this ring on James' finger, please repeat after me. I, Julian, I, Julianne, take thee, James, take thee, James, to be my wedded husband, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I now present unto you Mr. and Mrs. James Hayes. And you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Says it's Russ. You, yeah, you don't know anything about this. <laughs> this is my gift to James. If I had it my way, this would be the first time that I made love. do it over 
I'd have waited for this moment So I could give my heart to you unbroken But if our mistakes brought us together Does it really matter whether We were saints or sinners in the past? But I'd love to be your last All I know is what I see when I look at you And all I see is what I'm feeling down inside And all I'm feeling is this feeling that I finally Wake up tomorrow I'm gonna wrap my arms around you And thank the Lord above I found you Cause I know your heart has so much more than Anyone has touched before And nothing matters more to me than that to be your last I don't care if I'm your first love but I'd love to be your last